here is how you know Japanese stilt grass is eaten by livestock. Besides seeing my animals eating it right now, and it's everywhere with everything else. Nothing is being smothered out. I grow all my crops just fine. There's still lots of buckthorn. There's plenty of animals, lots of them. And um, the way you know is my muscadines is I'm walking through Bermuda, which is an exotic, and Japanese stoke grass, which is good. Here is where the goats spend a lot of time. You see, there is no Japanese stilt grass. It's just lots of different native plants, lots of legumes. And this is proof. This is what they like. They like Japanese stilt grass. They eat it, and even to the exclusion of other things. They just love it, see? They're not eating anything else. I even have echinacea in there. See that? Nothing. But right outside the fence, I have echinacea, and I have Japanese stilt grass, and I have all kinds of other plants. But you'll notice, everything is growing fine with the Japanese stilt grass. All my woodland things are growing just fine. But you go over the fence where the deer and the goats are kept and they spend all their time and there's no Japanese stilt grass. Why do you think that is? Because they like to eat it. This side of the fence and that side of the fence. Simple. And on top of that, you can see that as I come through here, it hasn't crowded out anything. My native plants are doing much better. And see, there's no Japanese stilt grass out here. None. And that's because the deer hang out here a lot. There's some comfrey. No Japanese stilt grass. And look, what do you think this is? One of your native plants you guys can't seem to grow too well. What is that? That's ginseng. Now, if I've got ginseng in my forest, and you probably don't, and you're spraying herbicides around because you want to kill Japanese stilt grass, I think you're kind of not being helpful. And oh, I've seen y'all with some of the videos pulling Japanese stilt grass out of the woods, acting like it's something bad. It's not bad. It's good. It does no harm. It's a helpful plant. I've not even seen a bad plant in my life. Just like Luther Burbank says, a weed is only a plant whose virtues have yet to be discovered by humans. The animals have already discovered how wonderful Japanese stilt grass is. And if you've got it growing in profusion, and it's copious, and you don't know what to do, it's because you're hunting all your animals out. Maybe you're mismanaging your forests. Why don't you just leave the animals alone and leave the forest alone, and you'll have a balance. If you're spraying your forest with chemicals, and you think you're doing good, and you're working for the government and using taxpayer money to do it, you're not doing any good, because the seeds are always going to blow in. The earth is not going to stop changing. The climates aren't going to stop changing. The environments aren't going to stop changing. Think about it. Rhinos, cheetahs, things like that, they weren't all in the same continent all the time. Horses started in North America. Then they were wiped out and then they had to be brought back by man. They moved across continents.